You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online around the world at kexp.org. I am Cheryl Waters, and I am super excited to have Ty Siegel and the Freedom Band in studio today. Welcome. Thank you. You all look amazing, and I am so excited to hear this new record live. Take it away. It's Ty Siegel live on KEXP.
Levi Siegel and the Freedom Band live on KEXP. I didn't cut you off there, did I? Is there going to be one more of those? There's going to be one more of those. <laughs> we always want one more from Ty. It's so great to have you here in the studios, and you sound fantastic. Thank you. It's great to be back here. It's always great to have you, and I hope you'll always stop by when you're nearby. My surrogate mommy. That's right. You tried to feed me psychedelic candy. Ty, I have long ago given up on trying to keep track of how many records you've had out under your own name, under your many side projects, and not to count the people that you have played on their records, other projects, and this new record, so amazing. You've got many sides of Ty Siegel. There's the loud and rockin', the fuzzy and squally, and the quiet and introspective, and you've kind of mixed it up a bit on this record. It's a little bit of everything. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I've summarized that for you. Um, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, you worked with Steve Albini on this record, and I feel like this is right up his alley. Is this the first time that you work with Steve? First time with Steve, yes. What, what made you want to go that route? I know you're a producer yourself, so I, I'm guessing you look for something specific or want to work with a particular person. I'm a big fan of Steve. Um, and the idea with this album was to record it with the band live. So it was like, what is the best place where, with whom, would be the best situation for a live recording, almost live recording. And Al Albini is it. He's master class. I say this from a non-musician perspective, but you always hear that he just sort of stands back and lets the band do what they're going to do and make their sound. And when I hear that as a non-musician, I'm actually curious you know, sort of what that means. You, do, you know, you don't go to this legendary producer and he just, you know, turns, turns the machine on and lets you do what you could do at home. What does that actually mean? Well, he, he, his whole thing is um, he doesn't want to uh, get in the way of what you're doing, which he could never do because he's a genius. Um, so it's amazing, though. He, he really is an enabler of, I think, musicians to just achieve what they want to do, you know, especially, um, you know, live in the studio. I mean, any situation really, but he's just an enabler. He's a wonderful enabler, you know. I know you produced other people's records. You worked with Lelouz and Zigzags. Those are local bands, although Lelouz was drawn down to L.A. due to you. So we lost them Thank due to you. Thanks for we that. We got them now. <laughs> <laughs> and some other projects. And what role do you feel that you want to take as a producer? Do you have sort of a style, or is it different for every band? Well, I, I definitely go a little crazy, if you'll let me. So my, my whole thing is mixing. I love to mix records, you know? So I learned from, you know, I, I learned a lot from Steve, actually, about um, getting amazing sounds on the way in. I think I was over-EQing things beforehand. EQs are not your, your friend. You know, they should be the last resort. Random, random comment. Um, but I don't know. I just like to help to try to serve a song. I, I feel uncomfortable inserting myself too much into a project unless someone wants me to. So I'm definitely down to just record a band and have them be live what they are. But if they want me to insert myself, I'm I would be more than happy to. I know that bands have fun working with you. When I interviewed Zigzag in studio and I asked them, you know, why did you want to work with Ty Siegel? And he just looked at me and went, duh, <laughs> Ty Siegel. <laughs> but you surround yourself with a lot of great musicians. You've got the Freedom Band here and uh, many recognizable, all recognizable faces from other great bands and people that you've played with. And that's like one of the first things that I think a lot of people think about when they think of Ty is all of the great musicians that you play with. And you're really privileged, um, all of you, to sort of be in this great group together. Is I know a lot of you were up in San Francisco together and it became too expensive <laughs> to live there. And down in LA, is that sort of a, a burgeoning community? Do you feel a tight knit sense of Oh, I feel a, a closeness with, with all of my chum, as I say. And um, there's a lot of wonderful music down there. It's a huge place, you know. So our, our crew is more of the east side LA crew that has, um, there's a lot of great bands. 
but it's a massive place. It's like eight cities in one, you know? Um, so there's many different scenes in actuality. There isn't just one rock and roll scene. But I feel really lucky to, to be around the bands and the people I am. And obviously these guys are the best in the world. I would agree. You want to introduce the Freedom Band? Charles Moothart on the drums. I think he's wanting a drum roll there. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Cronin on the bass. Emma Kelly on the guitar. Ben Boy on the piano. I'd love to give each of their pedigrees, but we'd be here all day. So if people are interested or don't know, I think they should get online and do a little research. These are all mega legends. Yes. Ty, it's so great to have you here. And I uh, love the new record. You've named it after yourself. <laughs> it's, it's my baby. Oh, and um, you're my baby. Mommy. <laughs> I, swear, I promised I wouldn't do that, but I just did it. So... I liked it. Sorry. <laughs> We've got Ty's... That guy's dead, man. That was a different time. I was going through some stuff. Everybody thought I was on drugs. <laughs> that is a frequently asked question. It's now amazing. people think you're going to do that every time you come. People are like, is Ty going to be dressed like a baby? And I'm like, I don't think so. I think that was just for the last album, but we'll see. I got a lot of texts. Are you okay, man? <laughs> hey, you know, you got to put yourself out there sometimes. Yeah, man. Try new things. You got to be you. I, yeah, I just... It worked, man. I tricked them all. <laughs> We've got Ty Siegel and the Freedom Band live in studio here at KEXP. What's, what you got? We're going to do the epic song, Warm Hands. Yes. Okay, ready?
Me stop you. <laughs> that was epic. Nice Thank you. Done. Ty Siegel and the Freedom Band live on KEXP. How you feeling? Good. How are you? I'm great. Good. <laughs> Just as good as good can be. Love being here with you guys. 
Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for coming in. Always great to see you. Thank you. Don't be a stranger. No way. <laughs> You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Thank you. Thank you, Ty. Thank you, Michael, Emmett, Ben, Charles. That was awesome. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.